Flying from Hendon, UK, Sheikh Abdullah becomes the first Bahraini to take to the air. Whilst back in Bahrain, building an airstrip began. Three RAF D Havilland RAF bombers fly into the new airstrip. Sheikh Hamid bin Isa, deputy ruler, becomes the first ever Bahraini to see the kingdom from above. A regular stream of flights encouraged Bahrain Aerodrome to create infrastructure to serve the carrier. Bahrain's importance as a strategic airport was established, a position it has never lost. Bahrain's fortunes took a massive turn for the better in June 1932, when oil was discovered on the island, the first in the Gulf. Throughout the 1950s, Bahrain's success grew, accelerating the nation into the 20th century and overtaking the rest of the region. In 1959, the cornerstone of a new concrete terminal was laid. The airport became as advanced as any in Europe. Bahrain's strategic position made the island the perfect location as a refueling point for long-haul flights eastwards. Global carriers still, to this day, roster via Bahrain. Throughout the 60s, heads of state and businessmen flew via Bahrain. Concorde flew into Bahrain to inaugurate flights between London and the Far East, with Bahrain as a stopover en route. This establishes Bahrain on the aviation map internationally. Today, Bahrain International Airport handles over 1,400 movements a week. Above the airport, 2,300 flights are managed via Bahrain Control Tower, maintaining the position of Bahrain as a regional leader in aviation. Now, Bahrain International Airport is opening a new chapter. The region's first and pioneering airport is yet again evolving to better serve the Gulf and the entire world. Increasing capacity from 9 million to 14 million passengers a year. Now's our time to go beyond. Reaffirming.